Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Microsoft Forms enhancements that was released in the month of June 2024. And we'll first start with the big one, which is how you can go and create a Microsoft Form directly from Microsoft Excel. Second, when you are going and sending the invite, how you can go and update the body, which is the message of the invite. And finally, when you are sending the invite, you are able to go and add the recipients, but now you can go and remove the recipients as well. And I'll walk you through how to do that. So stick around. The enhancements that are released are huge and you need to be aware of those. But first, here's my intro video. So let's jump into the first one, which is creating a Microsoft form directly from your Excel. Now, there is a little bit of confusion on this specific feature. So let me clear that down because I know what people are thinking. Says so Daniel, I've been able to use Excel for Microsoft forms for months, almost a year. So why are you saying this is new? Ah, see, that's where you are confused. And let me show you that by example. So if I go to one of my existing Microsoft Forms, if I go to Responses, and right over here, I bet you this is what you're thinking about, is that Analyze and Explore Up-to-Date Results in Excel. And when I go and click on it, that Excel document is called as Test. It opens up directly in Excel, and it shows me the results of the form that I've already gone and submitted. So you see, this is like an after the effect, which means after you went and built the form, you wanna go and see the results and analyze it directly in Excel, that's what this is. This was already there. However, now you can go to a brand new Excel workbook and create the form directly from that. That's the new feature. Make sense? All right, let me go and show that to you. Uh, so I'm gonna go and close this Microsoft form. Let's go directly to our office.com uh, on the hamburger menu. I'll go and click on my OneDrive and now I am in my own OneDrive, all right? Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add plus new and say an Excel workbook, right? So it directly now goes into my Excel. What I wanna do is make sure I name this Excel book. So I'll just click on here and I'm gonna call this one as annual student trip information, all right? So now it's all good. Go to the insert tab and you see this Microsoft Forms? When you click on the drop down, there it is. There's a plus new form. This feature and functionality did not exist before and now it's there. So I'll go and click on the plus new form and it's gonna open up the sidebar and now it says once your form is ready, it will go and open up a form. But you see what happened? It went in and added these five columns automatically, which is ID, start time, completion time, email, and name. I didn't do anything. I just went ahead and named the Microsoft form, click on the plus for new forms and it did this automatically. Um, in your case, if you are doing this the first time, you may have to authenticate on the right side, uh, but in my case, I didn't have to do that, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is click on open form. It opens up into another tab and see what happened. The name of that Excel spreadsheet, which you see over here, annual student trip information, that was automatically also taken as the name of the form, both on the, both on the main title over here and also the name of the form. So this is pretty neat. Next, let's just go and add a few questions over here. First one, I'll go and select that one, but I'll just change that to instead of first name, the uh, student uh, full name and things such as, are you attending, list the names. I'll just pick a few over here because it's not the form that I wanna show. It's actually the integration with Excel. So I've got all of this done over here, right? Selected it. So I've got one and then two more, so total of three, right? I'll go and click on this, add selected. We've got three over here. Let's switch back to our Excel spreadsheet because you can see that right now that I came in, it said synced with forms. This, work, this workbook syncs automatically with changes in the Microsoft forms which is right here, student name, are you attending, and please list the names of the people. These additional columns are coming in directly from the Microsoft Forms. So this integration is really deep because not only did we go ahead and create it from Excel, but it's also going and updating that Excel workbook almost real time. And, and let's do the final test, which is if I come over here now and in the preview, if I actually go and test it, we'll see if the data goes directly in the Excel spreadsheet, All right? So in my, all right, so the student name, I'm gonna go and say Jane Doe. Are you attending? Yes, I will be there. And for the third one, I'll go and say John Doe. I'll go and click on submit. It has submitted over here. Let's switch back to our Microsoft form and there you go. The form synced and especially these new columns that we added, student name, are you attending? Please list the name, directly went and added this thing. 
And the last piece over here is because this Excel spreadsheet has already been used once. If I go back to that forms drop down, the plus new form is no longer available. Now I do see three other options. I see preview form, edit form and send form and send form. So the edit form, if I click on it, opens up a new tab, directly takes me to the Microsoft Forms. If I go and click on the edit, if I go and click on the send form, again, it takes us directly to the Microsoft Form, but it opens up this pop-up menu, which is where I can go and collect all, which is where I can go and select all the people I'm gonna send it to. So really, really great integration in the Excel piece. And then the big one is creating a form directly from your Excel workbook. The next enhancement is to rewrite the invite using Copilot. So as an example, I've come over here to my existing Microsoft form that I went and created, and I'm gonna go and click on the collect responses, which is on the top right. Once I click on it, go to the invitation section. When I click on it, you will see this enhancement. Now, it already has my invite text, which is there out of the box. However, I can go and click on rewrite with Copilot, and it'll do a much better job. In fact, it already takes the existing form and puts that into account. So I'm just gonna click on rewrite with Copilot. It takes all the information that I already have, in fact, the text that I already have, it uses that like a prompt and it's going ahead and rewriting it. And there you go, it actually finished it that fast. So it says, hello, we invite you to participate in the All Things Copilot workshop registration. Now you see this name over here came from the actual name of the Microsoft Forms. And then it's actually going and giving more information. It says, your lab credentials will be sent to the provided email address, please spare a few minutes to go and complete the form. This lab credentials, which will be sent, that section was actually a subsection, a subtitle of the form. Even that was put in. So if you like everything, go ahead and click on the replace. It'll actually replace the existing invite. And then you go and put in somebody's name, which is what I'm gonna select, and then go and click on send. This is pretty neat because now you can actually customize the invite text as well, whether you go and type it yourself or to make it easier, go ahead and use the Copilot which comes directly with Microsoft Forms. And the last, but definitely not the least, is the ability to add and remove multiple recipients. Because here's what happened in the past. When you went ahead and created a form and went ahead and add all the members to receive it, you were the only one who was actually getting the email notifications. And that would be a problem when you were on vacation or if you left the company. But now you can go and add multiple recipients, which means multiple people will actually receive the announcements of the Microsoft form. And this can also be done with existing forms. And that's what I'm gonna to demonstrate to you. So here I have an existing Microsoft form. On the right in the ellipses, also the three dots, when I click on it, you have settings. On the settings, when I go to the bottom, this is the section for response recipients. The first checkbox I'm gonna do is get email notification of each response. And now when you do it, you will see the option to go ahead and add name, group, or email address. Now it by default already has the maker of the form, the person who went ahead and made the form, that name is already there. But now I can go ahead and add other people as well. So I'll go and type in Henry, and I see Henry's name, so I'm gonna go and put that name over here. It gives me a message saying, people you selected will be added as collaborator and existing collaborators will be moved or removed. That's fine, I'm gonna click on okay. So Henry's name shows up. Now, say for example, we are coming back after a few days and Henry has left the company. Well, in that case, I can come back over here, click on the ellipsis, and you see Henry, right next to Henry's name is the recycle trash icon. I can go and click on that because that will delete Henry so that Henry no longer gets any of those email notifications. So you see, we can do both, add new recipients and also come back later and remove them. This is pretty awesome. So hopefully this video got you excited of these new features. I, for one, am gonna start using them immediately. Just keep in mind that these features were released towards the end of June, so you may or may not see one or all of them in your tenant just yet. So be a little bit patient. I'm sure they'll show up over there very soon. And until then, keep using Microsoft Forms. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.